think playing in my first away game uh, was was different because I didn't have the fans, you know, behind me supporting me. But um, it wasn't too much different from the first game. I just needed to uh, slow down a little bit, and, you know, take a deep breath, and take every play, you know, one at a time, and just try to help the team as much as I can. Was the crowd? The coach mentioned the fact that you know it is a little different. I mean, I was a you know loud crowd and whatnot. Yeah, they did have a loud crowd there. Um, they did a good job of. Uh, being loud, we got one out by the goal line, uh, by the student section, they did a good job, so uh, you know, hats off to them, they're a great fan base, but uh, we, we came down to you know, the game, we should next year as well. What did you do to in terms of the team? Um, personally or the team? Let's start personally. Personally, um, I don't think I, I was fast enough with my reads, um, I need to be quicker, uh, I need to have the mental clock in my head in the pocket, you know, just knowing that the, the pocket's going to collapse. Um, after a certain amount of time, just making my reads, like I said, like I said, trying to get the ball down on throws. Just, you know, just still a little anxious uh, here and there on throws, but that's something that's just going to happen in time. Uh, it came down to execution. Mm -hmm. What did Coach say after the game? Because obviously he's your offensive guy. To the team? Yeah, no, to you. But to me, terms, yeah. he said, "Good job. You know, keep your head up." Uh, I, I, he said I did a pretty, pretty good job, but. Uh, you can't look in the past now. It's on to UCF. And you just got to get in the get in the uh, get in the meeting room and watch film and try to prepare. You know, for UCF now. Mm -hmm. Pretty tough club. 